In this video, I'm going to show you what $10 million buys you here in New York City. Now, $10 million is an extreme amount of money. And thanks to YouTube, viewers have become a bit desensitized to luxury real estate. To put this into perspective, $10 million in Texas buys you an 18 acre ranch with its own baseball field and an 85,000 gallon pool. And in Scotland, $10 million buys you a freaking 18,000 square foot castle. And here in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, we're gonna show you exactly what $10 million buys you in New York City. Welcome on into the apartment. This is listed for just under $10 million. It's a six bedroom, six bathroom, 5,000 square foot duplex apartment in the heart of the Upper East Side. When you walk in, you have this beautiful entryway that I stoned on the floor below the ornate millwork here throughout the whole space with the columns. So right off of this entry, we have your great room. This is your entertaining space very large and one of the things that is the highlight of apartments in this neighborhood is specifically the views so if you look out we have views of central park all nice and snow covered right now you have billionaires row off on 58th 57th street and this is nice because it's a southern and eastern exposure so here in the great room it's very open very airy on the floors below us we have wide plank oak which makes nice contrast with the white on the walls that crown molding behind me here we have this cool little reading nook Again, with all that lighting inlaid to that crown molding. In my opinion, the best thing about this apartment, and actually if you go that way, I'll meet you in the middle. Not only do we have these amazing views of the city, but we have wraparound private outdoor space where you can take in the ambiance of the city, the views, the feeling, the energy here in Manhattan, because it's one thing to have those views, but to come out here and sit and have your morning coffee or breakfast with this as your backdrop, it's pretty impressive. Heading back in off of that main great room, we have your dining room. Here we have seating for eight, marble tabled. I love the coffered ceilings with the sound system built right into the ceilings. So you do have those modern touches in a building that is a bit on the older side. It's built in 1985, I believe. But the thing I love about the dining room is the southern exposure with all that natural sunlight coming in, flooding this dining room with all that good energy and light. Off of the dining room here, we're gonna make our way down this connecting hallway where we have your eat-in chef's kitchen. And I really like how this does feel like it's almost a townhouse in the sky. It has that compartmentalized feeling of a townhouse. Here you have your full-on kitchen. We have granite on the countertops. Behind us, we have a six burner Viking Grange cooktop. And I even like how it really has that country home feeling with the glass and the cabinetry here so you can actually see in to what you're storing. If we make our way down this way, we have your pantry off to the right, decent sized pantry. Here you have your little coffee bar, more storage, built in deep set sink. Again, with these cool faucets, really reminiscent of like a country home, just happened to be in the Upper East Side. We have the stainless steel refrigerator here, freezer below, and then this area is a nice little breakfast bar moment. Again, you have that same marble table that we found out in the dining room. And then off into the corner here, more storage, also for display, more coffee but you can definitely feel it has that homey atmosphere, which is pretty rare for an apartment in the city. Making your way deeper into the apartment, off to my left here is the first powder room. And I love this place. This is Honey Onyx on the floors and the walls, giving it just a very um, artistic kind of feeling. I like it, I dig it. No mirror, which is interesting as well. But make your way out of here. I mentioned that this is a duplex, so here is the brass staircase leading downstairs. We'll get to that in a bit. But first, let's head off behind me to the primary bedroom here in this duplex. And now we have those Eastern views. You have the Queensboro Bridge, Queens off into the distance. I love this room because it's bright, it's airy. Again, you have all that unique crown molding along the ceiling here. And then we have this mirrored kind of distressed look on the closet space. It's a pretty decent amount of closet space as well. And then additionally, we have your Eastern. Fuck. Finally got it. You have your Eastern Terrace where you have views again, like I said, of Queensboro Bridge, Long Island City, Queens, looking down on Lexington Avenue. 
We're in the heart of Upper East Side here. And again, I love the aspect of having the views, but also the terrace to come out and actually enjoy those views. Even with beautiful views like these and a $10 million apartment, this time of year in the North can be pretty tough with seasonal depression. I'd like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist who you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. And there is a huge range of expertise. BetterHelp has over 20,000 licensed therapists in their network, many of which typically would not be available locally in some areas. And this service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message right to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, meaning that you will never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it free and easy to change therapists if needed. It's also more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available if you need it. BetterHelp truly wants you to start living a happier life today. I have a link down below in the description for 10% off your first month if you use betterhelp.com slash Eric. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash Eric. With that, BetterHelp, thank you for sponsoring this video. Now let's head back to the Upper East Side and check out the rest of this duplex penthouse. Back on in from our terrace space, I wanna show you the ensuite bathroom here in this space. You have your king size bed front and center. I wanna show you the ensuite bathroom, but first we have a beautiful pocket door. I love pocket doors, especially in the city, because it's that number one way to save space on a door. And then that goes right back into the door. But in this ensuite bathroom, we have marble everywhere. Floors, ceilings. This is a very regal, ornate bathroom. Again, you even have marble here on the vanity. You have an enclosed steam shower with this tile mosaic. This bathroom screams 1985 Upper East Side in the best way possible. And the number one telltale sign of that, like a fine age wine, you have your sharp TV built into this marble. I haven't seen one of those. I don't even, I don't, I've never seen one other than in a movie, but here you have it. Let's make our way out of the bathroom. We'll head back into the hallway where we have, this is actually pretty sweet. Welcome to your executive office. And here we have that custom millwork everywhere. All the shelving in this nice dark wood, the coffered ceiling with that toned tan paint, modern light fixture above head. You have this nice modern couch. And again, just having it in that very librarian executive feeling. Towards the front of this office, we have the wraparound desk with your Southern exposures, views to the south. And then I do wanna mention that this is technically one of the guest bedrooms. So you have ensuite bathroom with this beautiful limestone here all over the walls, steam shower, mosaic on the floor. And I want to comment, why do you think there's no mirrors in any of the bathrooms thus far? Comment down below. I'm curious to know what you think. Now back out into that main hallway, we are going to head down this ornate brass staircase to the lower level of our duplex apartments here in the Upper East Side. Now on this lower level floor, we have a hallway that connects the entire space. And behind me here, we have executive office moment number two. And this is a proper office because you don't have that ensuite bathroom. Again, you have all that awesome millwork that we had in the first office. And of course, my favorite part about this place and the real selling point, the access to outdoor space everywhere in this building. So you have, again, those eastern, those southern views. And it's really important, especially when you're looking at real estate in the city, not only to have those beautiful views, but to be able to actually come out and be immersed in the city, get the energy from the city, because that's why you buy a $10 million place here is to, to really be in it, be in the thick of it. Like you can look down Lexington, see all the people down below. Yeah, it's the feeling that comes with these these views in the outdoor space. That's the hard thing to translate into video, but let's head back on in. Heading back on into this office number two, we make our way back into this hallway here. We actually have the, what would this be? Technically the third bedroom, but off to my right here. This is staged as the kids' room. Two bunk beds here, views to the east, so you get your sunrises here. Again, if we show off into the corner here, we have ensuite bathrooms, which is a nice touch, and we have our first mirror in the bathroom, who would have thought? Off to my right, this is your laundry room. I'll actually walk in here. Not too much to see, but it's still nice to have a dedicated room for your laundry in a place like this. And directly across from us, we have another powder room 
just complementing this laundry room. Off of the powder room, we have bedroom number four, off to my left here, and this one is nice and removed from the rest of the apartment. Again, ensuite bathroom, eastern views, southern views, you can even see 432 Park Avenue and Billionaire's Row right from your bedroom. Again, this is guest bedroom number four, so there is a ton of space in this apartment. Again, it's 5,000 square feet. Back out into that connecting hallway, we have guest bedroom number five. I like this one a lot. This is actually my favorite one. So you have closet space on this entry wall here. Let's actually walk into the ensuite bathroom first because I love the tiling here. You have that just gray marble and then the mosaic on the floor. This just dark wood here on the cabinet for towels, dual vanity, awesome light fixtures and a steam shower. I love just the feel in this room. And this is actually, I believe, no, this isn't. I thought this was a Murphy bed just because it looks like it could fold up into this piece on the wall, this built-in shelving here. Again, you have the coffered ceilings, modern light fixture, and of course, your open terrace overlooking Central Park, Billionaire's Row. The sun left us, but nonetheless, the city is still stunning, even in the clouds. I just, I love the outdoor space. So it makes it for me. And actually, let's see if this is open. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Yes, it is. Connecting, we have what is essentially your game room right now. They have foosball tables set up with some chairs, seating area, but you could really make this space whatever you want. I kind of like the current setup. And then off of the right here, we actually have a home gym. So they have the nice padding on the floor. You have your pull-up bar, dip bar, bench, treadmill, free weights. And I do like how this space is utilized as a nice cozy intimate gym. Full mirrors here on the walls with even the uh, dance bar. And another cool feature is you have this ensuite bathroom here. So you totally, this, this gym is separate from the house. You can get done the workout, have your steam shower, have a nice soak, look at yourself in the mirror in the vanity. Pretty nice. Now the moment of truth. I want you to comment down below. Do you think this apartment is worth 10 million dollars let me know how you're doing i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe for more new york city and more luxury real estate and with that i'll see you in the next episode